at the back. I wanted to kind of talk about my pack here a little bit. It's made by Wilderness Outfitters. I don't know if you can see that. You can zoom up on that one. Made in Oregon. And uh, this is an extremely Klamath Falls, Oregon. Extremely good pack. Uh, phone numbers 541 884 0089. Very good pack. You can look up the website, Wilderness Outfitters. Um, this pack has all my goodies in it. I got fire starter, first aid stuff. Never leave home without it. Toilet paper. Some more fire starter. I probably got uh, about uh, three, maybe four different ways to fire, start a fire in here. You get out hunting in the uh, hunting season and uh, the weather can change. You get up in the mountains here in Montana. I've been in the Bighorn Mountains before and uh, get snow on 4th of July, so it's, uh, it can change pretty quick. Um, this is good for, uh, we put different things in here. This will take a hydration pack, hydration system. Um, I don't have it in here right now. We threw in some water bottles for our little jaunt today. We can put some more belts on it. Tons of room in here. Tons of room. You can take off this main pack. You got your frame. You got pockets here. This is what I like about this pack also. I can during archery season and I'm bow hunting. I don't carry this gun. I got a little 357 snub nose I carry. You can take it off, slide your holster on here, then it's on the outside where you can get accessible or put that back. super easy. Tell you what guys, I need super easy. I'll take this other one off. And you can put it on the inside and it covers it. It, it protects it from the elements while you're while you're hunting. Not getting snagged up, beat up. Excellent, excellent. These fellas are hunters. I've never met them. They did not send me this pack free. I promise you, you can ask my wife. She was not happy for me uh, having to purchase it, but I've owned a lot of different packs, and this is the most comfortable one I've ever had. I've uh, hiked miles and miles and miles with them. Sternal frame, aluminum packs, them older ones, 80s, 70s models. They're good for what they was for, but these you can take and bend this frame up Bend it all over the place and it'll hold up um, I've had some pretty good loads on it this year. I plan on packing an elk out on it And uh, we'll see how that goes I'll make sure I bring video with but there's tons tons of pockets tons of pockets in here there's probably uh, more pockets and room for stuff that you can carry than what you want to carry. Um, I've had 120 pounds on this pack, and uh, the reason I know that is because I took it to the pack and plant here, my local pack and plant we we uh, trade with, and uh, measured, weighed it on their scale, and it was a 120 pound pack in here. If you get something, flip that out. Awesome. Nobody shoots in the back. And this little pocket, I also keep my, I got a little hatchet. Man, I've had this sucker for years. We just recently put a paracord on it. The handle is getting pretty ripped up. This is an excellent little pack hatchet for packing. Weighs nothing. I keep my saw in here. I don't think Gerber makes this saw anymore, but uh, I've seen a lot of wood, and my, my boys messing around. This another has a saw, knives, nice little Cody pack is what it is. Outdoor edge, they hold pretty good. That they're they're they dull quick. That's, that's one thing I don't like about these. I keep them in my pack because they're, it's handy. I got saw, meat saw, wood saw. That's a, that's a 
digging. That sucker will dig. And uh, I skinned a couple animals with these. Not only uh, wild game, but some domestic as well. That's good stuff right there. Like I say, I got the fire starter. More fire starter. He's playing. Fire starter and backup. Some tape. This stuff is that non uh, non glue tape. It'll stick to itself. That stuff uh, you can probably hold a muffler on with it. Maybe not. Dad, I More was fire looking starter. For, I was huh? looking for a roll of that the other day. Glue. You cut yourself. Awesome for stitching. Uh, keep this wax string in here and a needle for fixing. These pockets are deep. Fine. I always keep a pair cord with me. There's some on there. Um, I watch. A little uh, pair cord. There's 21 feet on that right there if I need it. Gloves, wool liners in them, rain gear, excellent camouflage, excellent camouflage. That'll be another story, another first aid kit, has all the goodies in it. How can you wear yeah, these? Love. <laughs> I keep some plastic bags in here, so uh, if you uh, got hearts, liver, you can bring it out. Rain gear. Some okay. little essentials. Get lost. Take you some playing cards. Play you a little solitaire. They'll come to get you in no time. Figure no clippers. In case my nose hairs get extra long while they're looking for me. Some zip ties. This also, with the pack, you can put your rifle in here. Your bow. I've carried my bow in here. Um, my rifle. Very comfortable. It's not one that you can just jerk out. There's some other other systems that you can pull out. This one you actually have to take it off, and and uh, I'd rather have it like that anyway. If I'm just carrying it, it's it's secure. I've never taken cartwheels down a hill before with it, but it's secure in there. It snaps in. I didn't bring a rifle or a or a uh, bow with me today because it's not hunting season. Air cord. A lighter this sucker you can uh, be in a Montana windstorm that sucker will still burn tape snake kit it's kind of handy to have here in Montana or anywhere you got snakes or bees these are uh, cotton balls with uh, Vaseline it lights in no time matches waterproof matches The Vaseline cotton balls. I uh, awesome. took a uh, off a box of wooden matches uh, and cut the striker out. It's in there. A little easier to start. This is uh, this fire starter. Once you open this, you can't reseal it, but you put it back in a Ziploc bag. And you just have to break a little bit off. Use that. Fire it up. Pretty What's easy. Right? This is the last ditch knife sharpener. Um, I got that puppy years ago. And uh, I'm not crazy about it because it actually shaves more metal off than what you want, but in a pinch it will sharpen your knife. Flag and tape. Yeah, I don't carry a lot of stuff in here. These, there's all pockets <laughs> over in here, pockets over here. That's all I got in here. During hunting season, I have a little bit more some cold weather gear in here. Um, I usually roll up a, a uh, roll up a goose down vest and uh, stuff it in there. Wool. Wear a ton of wool. I gotta get that set up.
put that in there. This has been safety checked already. It's a BB gun. A little overcast. I'd have to honk to the truck here in a bit. Sucks her down. You can suck it down a little tighter. There's another strap there goes around. You got your rifle in there. Very good system. Very good system. Um, like I say, I got that last fall and uh, I put it to use. Waterproof. Suck that down. Put your crap in there. Suck it down. And you got uh, a waterproof bag. I just got some water bottle in here for the dog. You got his bowl over there, collapsible bowl we carry for the dog, so he got some nice little good time. This stays off your back so you're not sweating so bad. I'll tell you guys, this pack is awesome. It uh you uh I've never seen reviews of this pack before. I don't know how long these guys have been in business. Um very good. Very good pack system. They have a they have a bunch of uh, different designs, bigger packs. This one's more of the medium size one. Um, I've known in the past the bigger pack and more room you have, the more stuff you shove in it. And uh, I don't like to carry a whole lot of stuff. I don't have to. So I'm gonna put all this stuff back. I found a piece of wood here. I'm gonna cut up, make a flat for my bow saw, and. Uh, once we get that done, we'll we'll come back on and take another run at it. And uh, I'll have to do. Uh, I see a lot of the everyday carry videos. Um, maybe I'll get back on and do one of them. Kind of liking this. We'll talk to you later.